Another flare-up in West Asia, the United States has carried out additional preemptive strikes in Yemen as the Houthis claimed yet another attack on a commercial ship sailing in the Red Sea. American forces have carried out strikes in Yemen, destroying four anti-ship ballistic missiles that they say threaten civilian and military ships. This marks at least third time in less than a week that the United States has carried out strikes against the Houthis in Yemen. United States and British forces targeted nearly 30 sites in Yemen with more than 150 munitions last week. And in a follow-up action, U.S. also attacked a Houthi radar site later. The latest attack by the U.S. comes as the Iran-backed rebels targeted a Greek-owned vessel that's named the Zografia while it was transiting the southern Red Sea. The Malta-flagged bulk carrier was struck by a missile near Yemeni port it was sailing from Vietnam to Israel with a crew of 24 on board and was reportedly not carrying cargo when attacked. No injuries have been reported. The Houthis also launched attacks on American vessels on Sunday and Monday following U.S. and U.K. strikes on their territory last week. Several sh major shipping companies have been diverting vessels away from the Red Sea shipping route between Asia and the European markets, threatening a major disruption. The Houthis say they will continue their maritime aggression. The targeting came after the ship's crew rejected warning calls, including warning shots. The Yemeni armed forces continue to implement the decision to prevent the navigation of Israeli ships or those associated with the Israeli enemy in the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea until the aggression is stopped and the siege on the steadfast Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip is lifted. Meanwhile, the U.S. military says it seized Iranian-made ballistic missiles and cruise missile components from a vessel off the coast of Somalia last week that was destined for Houthis in Yemen. Search, however, continues for two sailors who went missing in the area and were reportedly involved in this mission to seize the weapons. The United States asserts that it is seeking a de-escalation in West Asia despite its strikes on Houthi positions in Yemen. We are not looking for regional conflict. Far from it. Through a combination of steady deterrence and steadfast diplomacy, we seek to stop the spread of conflict and to create the conditions for de-escalation. Our approach is and remains focused on moving towards greater integration and stability in the region. Now for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report. Listen to this. And news of the U.S. airstrikes come at a time that it's being reported the Biden administration is expected to relist the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization. You may remember back in February of 2021, the White House delisted the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization after the Trump administration designated that uh, militia group as a, a terrorist organization in its uh, final weeks. We also learned on Tuesday from the office of the UN Secretary General that Antonio Guterres spoke on Monday with Iran's foreign minister. He talked about the Middle East, including the situation in the Red Sea. The secretary general said that the situation must be de-escalated in the Red Sea and that U.N. Security Council Resolution 2722 must be implemented. That resolution calls and demands the Houthis to immediately stop attacks on merchant and commercial vessels in the Red Sea. However, we've seen so far that Houthis have not abided by that Security Council resolution, not surprisingly. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.